15 years. And this last time I was in prison, we was on lockdown due to coronavirus. They wouldn't give us no books, wouldn't let us read. I come across the Bible and start reading the Bible. I've been tw clean 20 months. Come on. I have no want or desire to ever use drugs again. Amen. I grew up in this town. I helped destroy this town at one time. I grew up in a, in a drug infested family. My dad was in and out of prison all his life. He's in prison now. And uh, like I said, I helped destroy this town. And I'm, I'm here today to hope to rebuild this town. Come on. Come on. Amen. If anybody says that God doesn't work, he definitely does. He works in mysterious ways. You've got to give him the chance. I bought, I grew up in church, and I turned away from it. And that was probably one of the worst mistakes I ever made. Like I said, I spent over, Derek knows me and him both spent over half our lives in prison. And I, I stopped by here the other weekend. He was preaching. He asked me to come by. I've never done this before. I'm not a preacher. I'm going to preach it to him. But I just want y'all to know that if I'm on Facebook, Derek Ray Farmer. You can find me on Facebook. If anybody's got any questions, wants to talk, Please, please talk. And I want to. I want to thank the Foundation House for being here tonight. Support me. Thank y'all. And mostly my wife for being with my stupid self for so long. And still with me today. <laughs> my aunt, my cousin, they come down. Thank y'all. Uh, but like I said, I I grew up in a, in a drug addicted family, so the only thing I knew was drugs for all my life. It's it, it's one of the hardest things I ever let go. I've let go of a lot of things in life, but. but Drugs get a hold of you to, to, to wreck you. I mean, look at what we lost to them. All the homeboys, all our cousins, family, friends. Drug addiction don't only affect us. It affects our family more than it does us. We can do the time in prison. It's not a big deal. Our families are doing the time with us. It's not just us doing this time. Yeah, don't hurt right. you. If you want to do it for yourself, do it for your family. But I really, that's, that's really all I got to say. If y'all if y'all need anything, please. I'm on Facebook. Derek's on Facebook. I watch him all the time. My buddy Frankie's sitting back here. I've known him 30 years. You can talk to him. He'll talk to you. All these boys right here, every one of them. Just find us. We will talk to you. Please don't go down that road. We've lost too many. Thank you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I want to pray for just a minute. Give you a word here. Have an altar call. That's what we come for, didn't we? Amen. Praise God. Good, when he said that, though, something went off in me when he said that because he said, I destroyed this town. Helped destroy it. Now I'm here to help rebuild it. Come on. So, Father, we love you today. Yes, Lord. And I need you, Jesus, right now. I need you to anoint me tonight. To preach, to speak what you want me to speak. God, we declare the captives to be set free tonight. We declare. Thank you. Amen. The addictions to loose, to let go in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for this opportunity. We worship you today, Jesus. And I thank you for this opportunity. I yield to you completely, wholeheartedly, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. I want you to go to John chapter 10, verse 10 real quick. John chapter 10, verse 10, he says this. He said, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And Jesus said this, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have life more abundantly. Come on. Praise God. Jesus said this, that I am the door. And if any man enter in through the door, amen, 
the same. Amen. I am the good shepherd, he says. Amen. I am the one that lays down my life for the sheep. Praise God. He said, all that ever came before him, he said, were thieves and were robbers and were liars. They were cheaters. They were, but he said, but he, he's the good shepherd. He is the door. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And I want to come to you from this point right here, right now, is choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Praise God. You know, we're in a time, like I said, that the, 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 the things that we've witnessed in this country, the things that we've witnessed, and it ain't over, it's just begun. You understand that, That's don't you? That's right. We, we, we got to preach in Pakistan the other day, and, and, and I got to be on a Zoom call with a Pakist in Pakistan. There was like 100 people, 80-something people in this congregation. They had me in Pakistan now. You wouldn't think a Muslim country, a, a country like that, would have the technology that they have. They have just as much technology as we do. Actually, they have a lot more. To, I mean, some of them are doing better than some of our churches here. You know, not not yeah. saying that braggingly, but I'm saying, That's right, praise though. God, they had me on a laptop sitting in front of the, uh, uh, the the thing right here, a big laptop with a screen on it with a video camera, and they're all in there, and I'm preaching, and he's interpreting. Praise God. Amen. And so we're seeing a time right now that we're living in. We're seeing right now the, the light being separated from the darkness. And, but what we're, what we're witnessing in this time is, is we're witnessing a mighty army of God that's raising up for this hour. Amen. This army ain't going to look like what people think it's going to look like. It's going to be, it, it'll, it'll be all different walks. And I'm not, I'm not differentiating, but what I'm saying, this will be the prostitutes. This will be the drug addicts that's Come being on. called out of yeah. the darkness, praise yeah. God. This will be those that were bondage and in, yeah. in, 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 in chains uh, of darkness and, and ones that destroyed towns. And God says, no, they're like Moses. I've chosen them and set them apart. Yeah. For such a time as this. Why? Because I want to fill them with my spirit and my power. Why? Because he said, He that loveth much, for he that's been forgiven much loves much. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. You know, we're living in a time right now, praise God, where we better make our choice. Do we choose the, 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 the path of darkness or do we choose the, the, the straight and the narrow? Do we choose life or do we choose death? You see, it's your choice to what you want to choose. Praise God. But when you come in contact with this shepherd, when you come in in contact with this Come Messiah, on. praise God, and lay down your life. You don't get up the same as when you laid down. On, you don't get up the drug addict that you was yes. when you hit your knee. They said, well, you need 12 steps, preacher. No, I need one step. Yes. I need to get down and I need Come to on. repent and lay it down. Yeah. And when I lay it down, praise God, he's going to take it for Amen. me. Amen. Amen, brother. Whatever you try to hold on to, you're going to lose it. Don't you yeah, understand that? Whatever you try to hold on to in this yeah. life, that's, that's claiming it's yours. It's your ownership of it. Jesus said, except you die, you cannot live. Except you lay it down, you cannot live. You don't know what life is until you've died. Amen. So the entrance way into this kingdom is the, is the death. The entrance way into this kingdom is to die, is to lay Amen. it down. Praise God. And that's where you receive life at. Praise God. I remember being in that cell, like I told you before. And in that cell, I came to the end of my life. I came to the end of myself. I came to the end of my life. I could look. I could not even look in the mirror and see a man there because there was no man there. It was a thief, a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a whoremonger, and all those things wrapped up in one thing. And, and you know what? He was so broken and so lost and so empty inside. No matter how he looked on the outside, no matter what he did on the outside, but inside he was like a broken child. Praise God that was crying out for help, that was needing a, 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 a an answer to the problem, that was needing to be delivered delivered that was needing to be saved praise God and and all of a sudden this Messiah this this Jesus that we hear about this Jesus Christ of Nazareth this one and only this God of love this God of mercy praise God that looks past all that stuff that seen something inside praise God that was valuable that seen something inside praise God that he would that he paid a price on the cross for praise God that's why he said choose you this day whom you're going to serve yes. praise God yeah. amen Amen, brother. Let me just preach for a moment. Come on. Praise God. He said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Yes. I am the doorway, the entrance way yes. into this kingdom. Praise yes. God. He said, once you've been saved, see, you've been translated from the kingdom of darkness to, or from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Jesus is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. That's why they wanted to tell you about this Messiah. They wanted to tell you about this Jesus of Nazareth. That's why when, when they were talking to the magistrate or whoever it was, they said, this Jesus of Nazareth that you crucified, praise God. 
This is him, the Lord of glory. This is the one that would come, that would become a man. Praise God, born of a virgin. Praise God, what? To redeem mankind. See, this king was coming, but he wasn't coming like they thought he was. That's See, right. Israel was looking for the deliverer. They was waiting on the king to come because they know the prophets had talked about this day. But what they were waiting for was this king to come in with this physical army like David did. Yeah. Praise God, and deliver them from the bondage that they were in. But what they didn't know was the bondage they were in wasn't physical change. The bondage that I was in in that cell wasn't physical change. Yes. The bondage that Derek was in inside that cell was not the physical change in the locked box that he was in. Praise God, that was only a symptom. Praise God of what something greater that was inside That's going right. on. Come Praise on. God. But he said when he got a Bible, when he got a Bible and began to read it, praise God, something went off in me when he said that. When he got that Bible and he began to read it and he began to realize there's this Jesus that will set you free. There's this Jesus that loves you through all that stuff and is offering yeah. you today a way out of your place, a way out of your sin, a way out of your addiction. Yeah. He's not leaving you the same way that you came into it. Hallelujah. God. Choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Yes. Choose Hallelujah. you this day whom you're going to serve. Praise God. Amen. He said, I am the door. I am the way. I am the truth. This Jesus of Nazareth. Praise God. This Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. This is him. Yeah. This is him, but when he came, see, he come lowly, yeah. riding on an ass, riding on, a, right. riding on a, a donkey, praise yeah. God. And when he come into the town, he said this, he said, they can't, say, can't you tell the disciples, can't you tell them to, 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 to be quiet? And he said, don't you know if the disciples hold their peace, he said, the rocks would cry out. Come on. If I tell my disciples, he said, the rocks would cry out. Why? Because even the, even the, all of the earth, everything is groaning in travail, waiting on the Messiah, waiting on redemption, mm -hmm. waiting on to be redeemed, praise God. Amen. Amen, brother. This Jesus that was born of a virgin, this Jesus that became a man, the Lord from heaven, the second Adam, praise God, born like me and you, praise God, into the earth, your Redeemer, your Messiah, that he lives today, that he's alive today. Amen. And that's why I live, because he lives, I live, because he lives, you live, because he lives, you live. And see, that's the thing about it. You can't never do enough good to get it, to, to, to get rid of all the that's things right. that you did and the people that you, you could, you could work from now until, until the end of your life when you leave your body. And guess what? You can still go to hell because you've tried on your own accord. You've tried on your own works. And he said, your works is filthy rags. That's what it is. We've heard that priest a lot, but we don't come on the other side of that. See, my, my, my righteousness is, but his righteousness yeah. that he offers. Yes, that's right. That's, that's I'm right. I'm not standing here by my own works. I'm not standing here because I did good after Amen. I got saved. Amen. I'm not st I'm standing here by grace and mercy. Yeah, I'm standing on. here because God was good. Amen. I'm not standing here because I was good or good after I met him. I'm yeah. standing here because he was good. Amen. And what I did was is I took what was being offered to me. Amen. I took the, I took what was being offered. I didn't, I didn't, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Amen. And the only reason that we're saved, the only reason that we're redeemed is because of the price that Jesus yes. paid for us in my faith and belief. Amen. Praise God Amen. that I've turned from the darkness, that I've turned from the light, uh, or from the darkness to the light. Amen. Praise God. It's like this right here. It's this simple. Like, like Legion when he was down there. And he was he was he was he was possessed with all those demons. And when Jesus came into the area, listen to this: He came into the area, and Legion, the guy possessed, the madman of Gadara, he ran to Jesus, and he ran to his feet. And when he fell down, he began to worship him. All them demons could not stop him from worshiping Jesus. Come on. All the demons in hell cannot stop you from getting your breakthrough That's today. Right. All the demons in hell cannot stop you from getting saved today. Hallelujah. They cannot, I don't care how possessed person is. He said to go and cast out those demons. Yes, Praise God. come on. Amen. <laughs> All those demons couldn't stop him at that moment. He still began to worship. Jesus said, what's your name? He said, Legion, for we are many. Can we at least go into the pigs? Can we at least go into the chickens? <laughs> Praise God. Can we go into them? Because you know what? Come out. You got to come out. I'm evicting you. Come on. See, that's the thing. When when when, when we turned, when we turned that day, see that all the demons in hell, everything that we'd ever done, nothing and nothing could stop us at that moment from receiving the gift. Amen. From receiving the gift of salvation, from the, receiving the gift of deliverance, what it took was me dying. What it took was somebody dying before they could live and receive life. A lot of people are holding on and they're still going out and they're claiming to be Christians, but they're still living this life that's contrary to 
what looks like a Christian to, according to the Word of God and they've never died, you're still holding on to something. You're still holding on to that relationship. You're still holding on to that drug. You're still holding on to the alcohol, but not the pills. You're still holding on to something. You're still yeah, holding on, on to something that's got you in come bondage. On. And as long as you hold on to it, you take ownership of it. But if you'll let it go, Amen. if you'll let it go, you'll receive life in that time. Amen. I thought, my God, what a trade. My life for his. There's no way that I could ever miss this opportunity. Come on. Amen. I couldn't miss this opportunity because my life was worth nothing, but he wants to trade my life, the life that I messed up. He wants me to give him my uh, all my sin and all that. And he said he'd forgive me. I didn't need condemnation. I didn't need nobody to condemn me. What Amen. I needed was a way out. What I needed was a Savior. And I remember, I remember my testimony. I remember being at the bed one day, and I'd been in that cell and lockup. I'd been in, in solitary confinement with no human contact for over three years because I deserved it. We couldn't make it in population. We couldn't even make it in population. You understand that? We were a danger to the prison. We couldn't even make it in pop. I'm not being, I'm not acting like anything other than the truth. We couldn't even make it in there. They had a place for us. And I remember sitting there, Corey, I remember, I remember getting down by the bed and all of a sudden eternity revealed in my heart. Eternity opened up in my heart in that moment. I thought, oh God, oh God, life is not forever. This life, or life, this life is not forever, but the next one is. And right now I'm going to hell. Right now I'm going to hell. And when I sat down by that bed, I remember sitting there like this. When it happened, it went off at me. And I sat down like this. And I said, oh God. What have I become? All the good deeds I did, you know, helping the woman, helping this, helping that. You know, that's all the devil wants you to remember. He don't want you to remember the people you stole from, the people you robbed, your family that you hurt, your kids that you left. Uh, you just remember, oh, I helped that woman. I helped her from getting robbed. I helped that little girl from getting raped, you know, at a party. You know, I'm a good, outstanding cracker. I'm a good guy, you know, whatever. No, you ain't either. At that moment, see... All that stuff went out the door. And I say this right here. I became a loss for the first time in my life. I became a lost for the first time and realized that I needed a Savior. And the whole time, this voice was speaking to me, telling me that he loved me. It was so loud inside of me. And he would say this. He would say, I love you. And these people that you're involved with, he said, they're going to turn on you one day. He said, but I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. And I thought, wow, oh, this is a voice of truth that I'm hearing. It's scriptural. Looking back now, what he was saying was the truth. It was the Holy Spirit speaking to me from Jesus. It was Jesus speaking to me. And I thought, what an opportunity. I'm going to take this one. Amen. Because right now I need saved. Amen. I need delivered. I need healed. Praise God. I need. I need help. Amen. And it wasn't long after that that I that I went down and I hit my knees and I prayed that day and I received it and I got born again. Right there in that prison cell, got delivered and got born again. Praise God. It set my whole life on a different path. See that moment I chose my side. I remember some of the former members coming to me, one of them coming to me later on, and I ended up walking away. Yeah, I didn't do anything wrong, didn't, didn't do anything foul or anything like that. Not saying if I, even if I did, who cares? I'm a born again Christian. But what I'm saying is, is I was sitting there and inside I had changed. I wasn't doing drugs for three years in prison. I was, I was not using, but we had drugs all around us, and I got out of lockup, was in population, so we had drugs all around us, alcohol all around us, everything right there going through my hands, all this stuff, because this is how far down we was into that life. I remember one of them coming to me one day, and he said, called me by my nickname, and uh, he said, are you sure you're this, you know, are you sure you're part of this? You don't act like we do. <laughs> so I thought, I thought before I spoke in this situation. I mean, I'm about two months to getting out the door. And I said, uh, 
Why do you ask me that? I said, because I don't cuss the way you do. Because I don't drink and smoke pot and do the drugs that you do. That's what I come with. That's all, you know. I'm going to ask you a question. And why I say that is, is because they could tell a difference. I wasn't the person I was. Amen. They knew me for 10 years in the prison system. Everybody in the prison knew me. I'm not saying that lightly. I'm saying everybody in the prison knew me. Everybody in any prison system knew me. Knew that man. He's not here no more. Amen. They all, from the police, the wardens, everything down the line knew me. And now, the same ones that I've been on the battlefield, the same ones, now they come and, and you don't you don't act like we do no more. You don't talk like we do no more. You There's something else different about you now. And there was. I was born again. Amen. I was saved. I wasn't playing tough. I'm just saying I, 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 I couldn't, couldn't live two lives and I had to make a choice and I chose my side. Amen. And, and, and I, I, I separated. I said, I'm done. I'm a born again Christian. That's all I can claim for you. I'm a, I'm a born again Christian. I can't, I can't claim anything else. I can't do it. Choose you this day whom you're going to serve. This gospel here demands all in. It, it, if you hold back, but when you realize this, that everything in life is found in Him, everything that pertains to life and godliness is found in Christ, in Him. And He, Paul said this, that Christ was in me. Christ is in me, the hope of glory. If Christ is in me, then that means that He's in me, that everything is found in Him and everything is found in me. And now, like I told you before, I'm not out looking for a wife. I'm looking for more of him. And he provided that at the right time. He provided that. You understand me? Choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Praise God. We come to tell the devil today that he is a defeated foe. Come on. I'm not preaching his message, but we're declaring it here in this yes. town. We're declaring it over you that he. We, we're fixing to bind the strong man. Come we're fixing on. to bind his efforts. We're fixing to bind every That's principality, right. every power, every ruler of darkness today in the name of Shit Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come Praise on. God. We're going to bind those things and we're going to spool his goods today. The captives yes. will be set free today. That's right. Praise God. The drug addicts will be healed today. Come on. Praise God. We're going to see to it that there ain't going to be no other ones laying in the creek face down. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's we're going to be right. up praising. Come on. Come on. Give him praise in this yes, house. Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah to the love Praise of God. You, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you know what? He said evil yes. prevails when good men do nothing. If you suck back and you do nothing, your cowardice shows yes. whose side that you chose. Praise Come God. On. Why don't you get on the front line? Why don't you get up? If you claim Jesus, why don't you get up and speak the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Why don't you get up and worship? Why don't you get up and choose your side today? Praise God, because you're carrying their help. We got enough cowardice in Christianity today. We get these movies out like the preacher's some hoe. You know what I mean? Like he's some little weak guy running around. You understand what I'm saying to you? That ain't the kingdom of God. That's right, it's not. Come on. Amen, You've brother. got it mixed up. That's right. The weak Christians walking around. No, these Christians are going to the pits of hell yes. and grab that drug addict out of the street yes. by love. Yes. Grab that prostitute off yes. of the street. Come Praise on. God. See her delivered and set yes. free. See him delivered of them drugs. And then go in there and bring them out. Praise God. Amen. Amen, Amen brother. <laughs> Choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Why are you sitting there sucking on the, the devil's pacifier? Amen. Sucking on his pacifier, sucking on his thing, sucking on his thing, doing his work. He got you yeah, like a glove. He's using you for evil. He's using you, destroying you, praise God. And then he's going to take you to hell for eternity. Why by your own choice? Why would you serve that loser? Why would you serve Come that on. enemy? Amen. Preach him, Lord. Can I preach? Yeah. He said the gates of hell will not prevail. I don't Come care on. what the, 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 the anybody else says. The gates of hell will not prevail. That's right. We declare that today. We declare Jesus to be Lord of this place, of this town, Hallelujah. of this community today. Amen. 
Amen. Amen, bro. Choose you this day whom you will serve. God's looking for some men. God's looking for some women that will let him fill you with their, the power Come and on, anoint Jesus. you with his spirit. Praise God to fill you with his word so you can go forth and he can work with you. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something. There's an army rising up in this last hour. Like I said before, I'm going to prophesy to it. These people that had these visions and dreams, and they seen a giant of a body, the redeemed body. They seen it awakening. Praise God, coming to wake, coming to life. Hallelujah. Come on. This body filled with the power of God, raising up. Praise God. With no fear. Filled with love. Yeah. You know, perfect fear, he said, cast out, or perfect love cast out fear. Yeah. Fear has torment. Yeah. If you love somebody, you're not going to fear. Yeah. And I'm going to say this to brag on my church family. Love is the reason they was going in here to these motels. Love is the reason we had 50 plus people down here with uh, New Creation Life Church shirts on going into the neighborhoods, going into the... That we still got videos. Go on my Facebook and look at it. There was 50 plus people here at least. And, and, and they were going in. Why? Because love. Amen. Because they've been delivered. Now they're going to go back and they're going to help somebody else get set free and help Amen. somebody else get delivered yes. and get their life back. I feel that strong right now. Choose you this day. Amen. Choose you this day who you will serve. Stand up with me. Get us a worship song. Praise God. Praise God.